All right, folks, it's about, uh, well, it's better than 6 p.m. just by a little bit here on this beautiful Saturday. Uh, it's quite windy. In fact, I'm trying to keep you out of the wind. I started, I was going to start this video up on the hill, but it's just too darn windy. And now the cattle are going crazy because I'm down here. They think they're going to get a pasture or something. Oh, I might have just caused myself a bunch of trouble. Stay right here and see what happens. Anyway, I was up on the hill. I was going to give you a little look, see you down below here. Of course, all the lots got all the cattle there. You know what? First things first, happy Saturday. I'm practicing this little thing they call goofing off. Uh, just started a few minutes ago. I was a good boy today. Did all my chores and then some. drying things down dramatically. Unbelievable. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, you usually see things on the other end here, but of course we're staring at the heifer lot here. Heifer lot got two bales, two new bales of alfalfa baleage here this morning. All right, girls. How we doing? They're doing just fine. You got the cows over here that I'm disturbing. <coughs> They're not used to me being up here. This is the first time I've been up here this year. They're not sure if they're in for a treat or some different dry ground, which, you know. Sorry. Not getting anything. They're doing real good except for a, a yard that's uh, getting really awful. It happens every year. Uh, it's just part of it. Yeah, everybody's doing okay. They've got uh, two bales of uh, dry hay for this evening that will last into tomorrow. I do not expect to have to feed any dry hay tomorrow morning. It'll just get a couple. It'll depend what things look like out here. They're going to get anywhere from two to three uh, bales of uh, wrapped alfalfa. <coughs> everybody's doing good for the most part. Um, some of those hoof rot problems are... Uh, have been uh, have been cured. Uh, I got to tell you though, I'm uh, I'm a little concerned about a couple of animals here for this next week. Got to keep a keen eye on them. Both of them have gone through their second round treatment, and uh, they just uh, they're not doing the greatest. We'll see what happens. I'll make a decision. Probably uh, uh, Monday or Tuesday to go after another round, which would be a round number three, uh, or or what? I I don't know. I don't have the answers for you. We'll see what happens. Sometimes it's all you can do. That's my uh, that's my simple science for you today. Other than that, a real good day today. Got caught up on a lot of stupid odds and ends. You know those things that linger all the time. Uh, I even did a little bit of uh, what we're going to call spring cleaning. I went after a little bit more garbage in some of the fields, uh, mainly, predominantly from the, uh, you know, the wrapped bales. Uh, yeah, I did some things around the yard, house, uh, picked some things up, put some stuff away, uh, and just a uh, whole bunch of little, little odds and ends and general chores. But, uh, yeah. How you girls doing? Huh? Well, you're a tank. Ah, right, here's our little buddy, 1104. Hey, girl. You're okay. 
Yeah, you're okay. You're all right. You pig. <laughs> 1090 is an absolute beast. <clears throat> now you need to understand something here. Some of those heifers you're seeing are pretty hefty. And I'm being kind with using the word hefty. What you need to understand is they're going out to grazing come May with the herd. I'm going to continue them on the grain ration and the alfalfa baleage until it runs out. And uh, what kind of words do I want to use here? <coughs> They're getting a big boost of growth being in this lot here this uh, this winter and spring. They're going to get conditioned the second they get let out and they join the cows for grazing. It's not going to last long though. Uh, by July 15th, I'm going to be pulling them out of the cow herd. They're coming back in here because by August 1st is going to start what I'm going to call specialty AI breeding on all these head of heifers right here. There's two, possibly three heifers that I'm taking out of this group. They're probably gonna be shipped for a spring feeder sale. I'm not exactly uh, uh, thrilled to death with their, uh, their their conditions okay, but size, and they're, they're, they were a little later born. I took a little bit of a gamble throwing them in here. Um, but uh, sometimes you just gotta try that. I don't know what else to say, but uh, yeah. Somebody's doing some shooting tonight. Uh, they got the sugar shack going right now. In fact, they started it at about 2 p.m. Uh, Dad and some uncles and everything, they collected all their sap today. They're boiling it down. They'll probably be, uh, they'll probably be cooking sap till about, uh, oh, I'd say at least 9 o'clock tonight, if not 10 o'clock. They're having a ball with it, a lot of fun. Uh, it's good stuff. Uh, quite obviously, we're in the bowl lot here, bowl pen, whatever you want to call it, and I see I need to go pick up a piece of plastic. I don't care how damn good you are. Uh, if, you're feeding, uh, if you're feeding wrapped bales all winter, you, you're going to have a plastic to pick up. But uh, the bowls are doing real good. Uh, yeah. even see if I'm able to post this this video I got a couple other videos I can't get up <laughs> I can't upload excuse me I don't know if I got kicked off of YouTube finally which I, I would hope not I mean that or there's maybe there's just a little prop going on with YouTube and Google right now but uh, right now I, I can't upload videos so We'll see what happens here. All right, girls. All right, girl. Yeah, you're my buddy. You're my little buddy. Oh, you want to wrestle, do you? Huh? Is that what you want? You don't want any of this. I can promise you that right now. Yeah, you're a good girl. Yeah. You're going to make me walk into this electric fence, aren't you? Hey, Tank. <coughs> Folks, that's about it. I'm just kind of enjoying a, a Saturday evening. My, uh, my responsibilities are done. And uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest, rest of the uh, daylight that we have here. And some of this weather. Probably going to go check out on the sugar bush. Uh, check in on the guys. Maybe have a beer. See how things are going. And then... Uh, I believe I'm getting cleaned up. I'm going to step out for a little bit this evening and uh, kind of go from there.
live life a little bit. <laughs> I've been uh, doing a good job of practicing uh, being a hermit uh, lately, but uh, there's nothing wrong with that. That, that. that can be a good thing. But uh, that's it. Just stopping in saying hello, folks. Hope everybody's doing okay. And uh, we got some very, very interesting things to come. Uh, kind of exciting, a little nerve wracking. And uh, we're going to take it in stride. We'll go from there. Everybody have a good evening. We're going to talk to you sooner and later.